probably know next section we'll talk about spanning tree protocol now, spanning tree protocol is used to prevent the loops which generally occurs when you have multiple links between the switches so let's take an example you have a requirement of 40 devices and you got a switch with a 24 ports so maximum you can connect just 24 devices on 24 port switch so typically what we'll do is we'll add another switch and we'll try to connect some 20 devices on the switch one and 20 devices on the switch two and then we'll connect a cross cable between the switches so the cross cable is just like extension to the LAN likewise if you have more number of devices we can simply add more cross cables between them but one of the issue is what happens if this link fails so if you, if you just connect one cross cable or one link between the switches if that link fails then it's going to be a single point of failure so to prevent that what we do is we generally connect multiple cross cables so between the switches we generally go with two or more than two links uh, which is actually a recommended option so generally minimum two links is something recommended so when you have two links if any one link fails so the users here can still communicate with the users on the other switch from the other side so the good thing of having two links like the same example here you can see we use one link or if that link fails single point of failure so better we go with two links so the redundancy redundant links provide you the redundancy option if one fails alternate option is there but if both the links are forwarding or if both the links are working then it may also cause loops because generally what happens is if both the links are working let's say i'm using two links in this case if this device generates a broadcast the broadcast goes to switch a and the switch a will send the broadcast to top this port as well as this port of course and then the broadcast will go from this port and come back on this port and then it will actually create a loop so this is one one typical issue with you know multiple links between the switches which will increase the number of broadcast toms continuous broadcast and this broadcast will not stop unless you simply remove the extra cable or power of the switch or your network is down or even it will lead to mac table instability because of the continuous broadcast it will keep on updating the mac table so your mac table is not going to be stable and also you may end up receiving multiple frame transmissions from multiple ports so there is a good thing as well as the bad thing the good thing is redundancy and the bad thing is creating the loops so there must be something to fix these things so stp is a solution so if you if you take this example here the same example let's say a sends a broadcast the broadcast goes to sorry the b b receives a broadcast sends to a and then c so no loops here but the drawback with this setup is if this link fails single point of failure so we try to add another link between switch b and c now this will create the loops now to fix this one solution is we can just use only one link which is something not recommended because if you just use one link the main issue is there is no redundancy if that link fails then it's going to uh, be a single point of failure we always want two links so we can think about shutting down this link maybe you shut down this link no shutdown when needed but manually it's not possible so you cannot do that because you know how many you know when you will come to know that link is done maybe after half an hour one hour something like that and you have to be physically present to do that but this process can be done automatically so automatically can be done by stp now what stp is going to do is stp is going to detect like what stp is do is let's, let's say if there are four links anyway here i got only two stp is going to ensure that if there are four paths or four routes between the switches so it will ensure that any one of the link goes to forwarding and automatically it will make all the remaining links to blocking so which means there is only one forwarding path whereas the rest of the uh, rest of the paths are temporarily blocked how long it is blocked as long as this link is working let's say due to some reason if this link fails this link goes down automatically it will make the next best link into forwarding state and that's what stp will do so stp job is to ensure that any one link is forwarding 
like it's a standard protocol which is enabled in all the switches so you don't need to enable it it's a default feature which is enabled in every switch and it's going to stop the loops uh, when you have multiple links between the switches how it is going to do that it's going to ensure that any one link is going to forward the rest of the links automatically goes into the blocking state so which means it's going to uh, put the other alternate links into the blocking state 